All right, welcome back, everybody. Time now for Better Food. Aaron Hall from Brizo is here now, Rocky Hill Base. We're so happy that you're in town. I appreciate it. And uh, lunch just started about six weeks ago. That's correct. And we're, we're, we got to get more. We got to get some people in there. Got to let people know that what we're doing yeah, out there. Absolutely. Yeah. And dinner is a big success. Polly Bell, we just love the food. I, I, well, I was just saying how we're we're doing scallops. That's how you scallops. say it, right? Scallops. C scallops. C scallops. Scallops. Yep. scallops. Okay. That is my son and husband's favorite. Meal. Yeah, it's one of mine, too. Are those right? uh, so U10s? These are U10 dries. Listen so, you know, right? you know. Yeah, what do you think about that? <laughs> uh, dry meaning that they're not over-soaked, um, so we get a nice sear on them. And what? for you, I, I really don't even know what a U10 is. is this I know. That means 10 per pound. Oh, okay. So okay. 16 ounces to a pound, so each one's about 1 1.6 ounces. Isn't that interesting? I yeah. just learned something new today. Yeah. All right, awesome. very good. All right, so how, how do we begin? So we, uh, you're going to start with a nice uh, smoking pan here. Um, if you, if your pan is not hot enough, it, the scallops will actually stick and not caramelize. Okay. Mm. It'll start to burn instead. So how long do you heat that up then? I mean, just till it, it depends gets, on your cooking apparatus, but I mean, until this it's isn't boiling in, until it things? starts to smoke. Smoke. Yep. Okay. And you're, you're wanting to use a nice. Um, Canola oil or saute oil of some sort. Okay. Uh, just because of the high um, um, the now, smoking point on it. Now this isn't on. You know that, right? This was on. No, before. it's the stove is now off. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to turn it back on. All right. It's all right. We're gonna. Chef Tell over here helping us out. Yeah, you, you got to do this, and I do, it's. Um, it's Induction. The, I, if I could see, I could it, help you, but I, it, I'm, I'm, you're on your own there. Yeah, the, it's uh, this this stove. There we go. There we, oh, there we okay. go. Hang it's on a minute, up. baby. So in the meantime, while he's yep. trying to get that going, Aaron. So you also have steak. Like you guys are a big steak place too. Yeah, we have a really good quality. Yeah, because steaks. I think you, a lot of people think you just fish. Just oh, fish. Yeah. We do a lot more than just fish. Just like example here, we have a nice uh, chicken escabeche, Ooh, which yum. is a, a braised uh, boned-in chicken dish. That is beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. And then a couple of our. Uh, Presenting some of our sliders that we do for happy hour. Okay. So yeah, let's, and then and mussels as well. And, All right. So yeah. Okay. We'll talk about that after that because those are they look too pretty to eat. I, almost, I, I, don't see, they? I see my dinner. It's coming oh, right up. Right sure. up. So we're just gonna we're gonna start searing okay. these off here. Okay. And it's not a long. You don't cook these too long, do you? No. What you do is you just keep them on the flame a little bit. Get um, for about maybe 25, 30 seconds. Oh, that's it. And you would stick them into uh, an oven, which, um, let's get that going in there. Okay. All right, we got that in the oven. Okay. So once you get a nice little sear, you would take this pan and you put it right into the oven. Oh, you take that, oh, so you just. Oh. Make sure you don't have a pan that doesn't have plastic on it. Now, what, what's the oven temp? Uh, you would use about a 400. Okay. 400 degrees. 400 right degrees, and you're not going to flip them. You're going to let them cook from the bottom up. Okay. And to get a nice little caramelization on it. And then, uh, how long does it stay in there? I, again, I apologize. Uh, about uh, four minutes. The four minutes. Four, four and a half minutes. All right. And then we have some uh, ginger and carrots here. And we're just going to do a little quick uh, stir fry. And that's is that couscous? What this is, that? is um, quinoa. Oh, quinoa. Yep. Quinoa, nice. Love okay. quinoa. So cook that down, and then we do a little bit of Japanese sauce. Japanese sauce? Yeah, it's uh, soy, there's some uh, rapeseed oh, oil and mustard, a little sesame oil. Yum. Okay. Oh, we wish we had smell a vision don't we? <laughs> oh, that smells good. What that is that? that? This is, is that? Uh, baby bok choy. Oh, baby oh, bok choy. Okay, okay, not in my vocabulary, but that looks So amazing. this you can just keep right on the stovetop and just um, and just heat it up, if, you know, as long as your, your quinoa is pre-cooked. Okay. All right. And then your final product, you pull out of the oven. This is the magic of TV. Alakazam, Alakazoo, I smell sea scallops cooking for you. How's that? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yes. So yes. then oh. as, they, as they come out of the oh, oven, you would turn them over. Good. Okay. So as they come but, out of the oven, turn them over. Yeah. So we are going to plate this up. Excuse me. Oh, um, excuse me. I'm sorry. Right, get, I'm, Polly, get out I'm, of the way. I'm, I'm too engrossed here and <laughs> what's going on. The quinoa and the... And the, what is it, bok choy? What did you call Baby it? Bok choy? Baby yeah, bok choy? Yeah, I don't know what that is. What is that? It's like it's a, it's like a, a cabbage. 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 Okay, like, that's, oh, that's why I don't I'm, know. I, the only reason I know that is from my Pathmark days. Because we used to, it was 917 way to enter. That's all I know. It, but it smells so good. It's so mm -hmm. strong. Really and this is actually okay. on our dinner menu. This and, looks beautiful. Wow. And we just do a little bit of Japanese sauce. And okay, What's I in think the Japanese sauce? There's a rapeseed oil, mustard, um, soy sauce. 
Okay. Uh, uh, soybean. I, I, I think that this is what's for dinner tonight. I think it's <laughs> what's for dinner right now. So let's right? give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass oh that plate gosh. on over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, okay. Can you give us a little shot? Mm. Can there we... you go. Okay. All right. This is a little tricky right now, but okay. Is it hot? Mmm. Good. Mm. Mm. You get the nice sweetness from the caramelization mm. of the of the. Sorry, I did that. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that's awesome. Setting the thing on fire. All that right. is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wonderful. Wow. All right, okay. so talk to us about some of the other items you have. Right. So here we have a uh, tuna slider with the um, cabbage slaw and uh, the ginger aioli. Don't even tell me that's a crab cake because I will. That's a that crab right. cake slider. It's actually going on the happy hour is menu that tonight. Yours? Is that yours? On the is happy hour menu? Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Yep. Okay. So it's got a it's got a house uh, cucumber slaw. Uh, it's Maryland style, so there's jumbo lump crab in there, all cool. crab. Got a salmon burger, um, just a regular Angus burger with uh, barbecue and pea shoots. Okay. And then that's, this again is that's the braised chicken escabeche. That looks excellent. And and mussels over here. That's correct. Right. With a cioppino broth and a garlic crostini. Yeah, I want to try that. And that then looks for dessert, we have to. I don't know if you know, pistachio is my favorite things on earth. I did not know that, but yeah. now now <laughs> now I do. Yes, you did, right? You planned that. Of course you did. Pistachio creme brulee. Oh, pistachio yeah, creme brulee. Yeah, yeah. Oh no no no! You're fighting me for this one because. Yeah. Oh look at that, pistachio creme brulee, creme brulee. Did I say that right? This is worth the trip alone. Mm. This is yeah. unbelievable. Thank you. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, that is amazing. All right. Well, amazing. Okay. It's, it's right here in Rocky Hill. Yes. Right on Cromwell Ave, right next to West Side Market. I will see you there. For fantastic food and drinks, be sure to check out Brizo Fish. I the know, name it, says fish. Fish, right. But, but it's more than that. It's more, more than, than that. Fish. All right, the rest of the, uh, again, is located on Cromwell Ave in Rocky Hill, and the website is brizofish.com.